just for a start today's video, the first comment will be winning themselves three mystery boxes. So congrats will on that, but for the main prize, I'm actually giving away a $100 payment scroll worth around 700 mil in game. If you want to be entered, just leave a like on the video, be subscribed to my channel, win notifications on, and copy your name on Zaros. And that's pretty much all you have to do to be entered. So good luck on that giveaway, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. All right, it's been around a week since they added the Kingdom of Miscellany to the game, and I put like 7.5 mil to coffer. I think I'm 100%. How's the Kingdom faring? Boom. Holy shit, that's a lot of seeds. Um, <laughs> Do we get any good ones? Have we got a Spirit Seed? Acorn? I mean, this is just for like one week, by the way. So, I mean, there's a lot of really shit seeds, I'll be honest, but... Like, it's not meant to be too overpowered, obviously, because, you know, it's literally just passive fucking herbs and seeds, but not too bad, I think. All right, we have another 12 elite caskets, man. I don't know how I don't have this master one yet, if I'm being honest. Like, it is literally a a 1 in 265 drop rate. Infinity boosts are the exact same drop rate. We have five pairs, dude. It's the exact same drop rate. Like, just give me one, dude. Come on. Oh, it's a mimic. All right, I'll drop this for now in case you get more. Dude, I got excited. Gothic's page three, I mean... Yes. Nothing. Nothing. Dude, how is that still nothing? A peaceful blessing? Dude, are you serious, man? 100 elites, dude, please. A brief get. Dude, just give me this master one, man. Charge Dragonstone Jewelry Scroll? That's a thing. Alright, last one. Come on. What a cringe game, dude. <laughs> Right, we better get something good from this mimic, by the way. Oh my god, dude. I thought that was it, bro. How troll is that? Real scepter, but no master one. I see. Thank god. Thank the fucking lord we got spooned that, dude. Let's go. Holy shit, this place is so dog shit, man. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a shit boss to kill, by the way. And we actually got spooned it. Let's go. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh, a bludgeon piece. I mean, I doubt we'll ever come back for the full bludgeon, but I guess we'll take it. Main thing is, we got the achievement out of the way, and we never have to come back here ever again. Dude, there's no way we just got Bass's head, like, five kills in, by the way. Are you serious, man? Five kills in, by the way. That's the same drop rate as a jaw. We could have been done with this grind in five kills, but instead we get the wrong drop. Bro, a curved bone is one in a thousand, by the way. One in a thousand. I get one too, along with the master's head. Nice game, bro. Nice fucking game. I was reading Discord and I can look back and I see this fucking bass's head, bro. Like, why, dude? Ah, oh, it's so cringe, bro. It's one in 200 too. Oh, just give me the jaw, man. There's no way I just got a third one, bro. There's no way! And some more, I just came and dropped like a bunch of Desi helps because I'm streaming. And then right after he does that, I get another bassist. Nah, bro, fuck off, man. <laughs> That's so fucking troll. The Desi helps are just disappearing. They've done their fucking job. Bro. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna open all my Slayer caskets and boss caskets. I just got a, um, a bonus for some gold drops, so I might as well open these right now. I mean, four and skis. Might as well. Yo, 30 crystal shards for enhanced key. That's honestly not bad. God damn. Can we get this imbued heart though? Is a real question. Still like, we've opened probably over 2,000 psychosis at this point, trying to get this thing. Come on, man. We are literally overdue, like hard overdue for one of these. Nothing in the first 50. Come on. I believe, bro. It's not gonna happen, is it? Fuck this game, bro. Like, we're literally 110 into this task, bro. I get nothing at another master's head. Dude, just fuck off, man. We've been here for like four hours, man. These are so slow to kill, bro. Just give me the damn jaw. Bro, that's my first longbow in 350 kills. <laughs> my first one, dude. It doesn't even say how rare it is. We've had everything on this, like, top five apart from the jaw. There is no way, bro. I have 15 left on this task, and we get another bastard head. Another bastard head. <sighs> Dude, it's so cringe, man. 
Like, just give me the jaw. So, we decided to take a bit of a break from Basilisk. So I thought I'd just use all my fletching supplies. So, I've just been making darts. As you can see, I've made 4k amethyst darts, 2k dragon, like 9k rune darts, and almost 15k admin darts so far. So, if you're wondering where I got all the darts from, I already had like 2k dragon darts just from random stuff. Like, I think I got them from dragon implings, like brimstone keys, larynx keys, like random ass places. Amethyst, obviously, I mined and turned all my amethyst and dart tips. Rune dart tips and adamant dart tips, I actually smithed all of my runeite and adamant ores in the blast furnace using up all my coal because I had a shit ton of adamant ore and rune ore just from like bossing and we actually got 15.5 mil smith exp which is way over 99 so I kind of wish I calculated that because obviously I used like literally all of my gold ore in order to get 99 but I could have just not used like a lot of the gold ore and just did rune and adamant bars just to get 99 which is Literally what I ended up doing after I got 99, so I got way more smithing XP than I needed, but yeah. Alright, here it is. There it is, 99 fletching, dude. Huge. Alright, officially three skills left, and then we are done with maxing. That is very nice. Dude, I did one kill! Holy shit, I did one kill! I literally got a new task, 255, and I get it first kill back, dude. Oh my god. Let's go, bro. Holy shit. Finally, man. <sighs> Finally. Alright, this should be 90 agility. So, now we can actually start doing the early course without needing to use summer pies, which should be a lot more convenient. But yeah, it's still gonna be a while. I think agility course is around 600k XP an hour, so another... 7 mil XP is going to be like another 10 hours of agility, which is not going to be too fun, but yeah. Alright, so a 15% pet rate event just got turned on. I have one spare Infernal Cape. Oh man, never lucky. I thought I might as well go for an Infernal pair during this event, so I'm just going to keep doing Infernal Capes and cash them in. First one, let's see if we get the pet. You not lucky, of course. Alright, another Infernal, come on. This one has to be the pet, surely. Oh, you're not lucky. Alright, cape number three, come on. <laughs> Bro, every time. I just realized on my last two capes, I didn't actually have a pet down to give me extra pet rates, so maybe this will be a difference. Come on. Are you sure about that? Oh, come on, man. Dragonbone necklace? Oh, if only that'd be in a fucking pet, dude. God damn it. Is this even useful for anything? I have no idea what this is useful, by the way, but I thought I'd do some Volketh instead of uh, Inferno since we're not really getting any luck with the Inferno pet, but thought I could maybe snipe the Volketh one. Oh, still got an hour and a half to go. Alright, we're gonna cash in five Volketh heads. Come on, dude. Maybe we'll get the pet, who knows. Alright, Rune Kite Shields. Oh my god. <laughs> These boss caskets are so annoying, man. Crush Ness. Alright, last one. Oh, it's a reroll, I guess. You get three uh, Dragon Bones. Snap Dragon Seeds. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's finally make our... Neat's not Helm, dude. Neat's not Face God, there we go. Upgrade the Helm. Oh, why is that achievement so difficult? Alright, I'm not actually sure if this will give me a max hit, by the way, so let me just test it. Alright, so our max hit with a Face God is 57. Do we get a max hit? Oh, we do get a max hit. Okay, okay. So it's actually worth using a face guard now. What about with claws? Okay, 46. Alright, might as well test the Warhammer spec. Alright, it's an 81. Okay, so we do get max hits out of some items. So it's not completely useless. So it might actually be useful for some places. Alright, so I don't have my own blood pet, but I thought I'd just get double melee perks and the dragon pet and the dragon perk on my KBD, just so I can kill these dragons slightly faster with the extra 5% accuracy, so there it is, nice. What 5kc dragon metal love, dude? I'm pretty sure that's used to make the dragon play body, right? Dude, that is so much rarer than dragon limbs. What in 240, dude, what the hell? But I guess it's a good thing to get the rare drop out of the way first, right? So, we'll take it. Bro, I just got Draconic Visage, dude. Why am I getting all the rare drops? That's one in 550. Dude, I just want dragon limbs, bro. Dragon limbs are literally... 1 in 52, bro. Why am I getting all the rare drops first? Dragon lives just like that, bro. Well, rune dragon's complete. Thank you. Easy game. Another drop, dude. What is going on, bro? Dragon bell up, hello? Okay, well, I guess I'm just rigged at rune dragons, dude. That's my fourth drop, by the way. All right, there it is. Kill 100 rune dragons. I'm not gonna lie, these were very, very profitable. Let me just take a look at my collection log. Oh, I got two dragon metal ups, four dragon limbs, and I guess we just click on any boss. 
We got a message as well, dude. I've had four now until I've had one from KBD, two from Borkath, and I guess one from Rune Dragons. Very good luck for 100 kills. Not bad at all. All right, there's 50 Metal Dragons. Oh, there's deal damage to Cherith. A <laughs> very easy achievement. All right, finally, dude. This is literally one of the longer achievements. We'll take our boots. Thank you very much. Let's dark bow spec this thing. For some reason, it's an achievement. All right, thank you very much. All right, another four caskets. We need to barrage some monkeys, so hopefully I can get my master one. Please, dude. Oh, rage is tight to the first one. Okay, useless. Dude, like, we can get a full ranger set, like, tights and tunic, right? But we can't get a master wand after 108 elites, bro. This gear setup looks fucking interesting, but... <laughs> Alright, let's open four caskets. Maybe today will be our lucky day, after opening over 2,000 of these. Never fucking lucky. 50 skeletal monkeys have been defeated. I think that is all of my combat achievements done now. Onwards to the bossing achievements. Alright, this should be the last key, so if you're wondering where I got the ecumenical key, uh, keys from, by the way. Next drops a ton of ecumenical key shells we can just make with these, so didn't need to go in the wilderness to get these, which is nice, but yeah. There's another bossing achievement done. Alright, so one of the achievements is to open five grubby keys, right? And I figured out apparently gourmet implings actually have these on their drop table for some reason. I'm not sure why, but you know, they're only uncommon, so... We've just caught like 18 of these. I'm gonna see if it's actually worth, you know, getting these for grubby keys, and I guess we'll find out. Okay, that was a little bit disappointing. <laughs> not a single one, dude, really? Alright, I'll catch one more inventory, and we'll see if this is worth it or not, because I really don't want to farm Serangnus, if I'm being honest. Alright, so let's catch another inventory of Gourmet Implings. I'm just hoping the last one was just, you know, unlucky, right? We have 22. I caught some Dragon Implings too, because, uh, why not? All right. Oh, we might actually have to kill Seragnus, dude. Just one grubby key, bro. Just show me it's worth it. I just need one. Literally just one. Oh, that's huge. Okay, we're doing this. It's a lot more relaxing than catching Seragnus, too, if I'm being honest. All right, another inventory of gourmet implings, dude. Come on. Surely our first two inventories were just unlucky, and we get like three just from these 26 alone. One minute later. Wow, we actually got nothing. Another inventory of gourmet implings, dude. Let's just get the grubby key, man. Come on. Fuck. If we don't get anything from this, I think we're just better off going to Seragnus. Okay, wow. <laughs> Nothing, dude. We've had one grubby key from like 70 of those. Right, there's the achievement to defeat Seragnus. <laughs> we got Mithril Bots as the first one. The thing is, I'll probably stay here until we actually get the grubby keys. I think this is the most viable method to get them. I didn't even know I was close to that, dude. Obtained 500 mil total experience. Well, that's a big one. God damn, nice. All right, there's our third grubby key. That actually did not take that long at all. So we did the maths. It's one in 35 to get a grubby key from a red dragon. And we just got three in the space of 63 kills. So a little bit of spoon, actually. We went way on a drop rate. Giant egg sack. Blue egg sack. Orange egg sack. Dude, what's on the ground? Anyways, achievement done. All right, this should be the last of the four goddess bosses. So I left still going until the last of the first trip and I actually forgot to tie the rope. So I had to teleport out and read it all over again. But second time around, managed to do it. So there we go. So I'm pretty sure that is every single bossing and combat achievement done now. So all the combats are green. Bossing, I mean, there's still four left, but these are all master achievements. So we've done all the easy to elite ones. So that's pretty much all of them done, which is pretty huge. So just skilling and miscellaneous to worry about now.